So what we're looking at today are at least squared regression lines, predictions, and residuals. Now, what we are not going to focus on today is how to calculate a least squared regression line. Um, that was in a previous video, but instead what I'm going to talk about today is what do we do with a least squared regression line, and what is this residual thing that you keep hearing about. So, first things first. What we have here are different lengths of skeletons that we dug up. Um, we can see a femur length and a humerus length. These are both in terms of centimeters. We're using the femur as an explanatory variable and the humerus as a response variable. For instance, here was a skeleton dug up with a femur length of 38 centimeters and a humerus length of 41 centimeters. Now, using these five pieces of data, I was able to come up with this least squared regression line, which says that humerus equals negative 3.659 plus 1.196 times the femur length. Now, Again, that is our least squared regression line. This is an incorrect equation. And the reason it's incorrect, it's a prediction. And whenever we predict, we need to put either a hat on it or physically write the word predict off to the side. If you would have the word humorous without that hat, it would be marked wrong. Now, let's talk about how we can use the least squared regression line. For instance, let's say we dug up a skeleton or we want to think about what would be our predicted humorous length with a skeleton with a femur length of 65. Well, we haven't dug up a skeleton with a length of 65 centimeters, so what we do instead is we plug that into our equation, and we say negative 3.659 plus 1.196 times 65. And what we come up with is a humorous length of 74.081, but be very careful. Again, just like before, this would be marked wrong, because this right now, the way it looks is you dug up a skeleton with 65 centimeter femur length and 74.081 humerus length, but we didn't. This is what we predict. So you need to put that hat on it again. So again, making predictions, very important that we know, is it an actual piece of data or is it a predicted piece of data? Okay, so now let's talk about residuals here a little bit. Right here, Let's talk about this skeleton that I dug up. It had a femur length of 59 centimeters and a humerus length of 70 centimeters. So we are looking at this guy right there. Now, what I want to do is see how well did our um, prediction work. So right here you can see that we predict to have a humerus length of 66.905 centimeters. Oh, don't forget the hat. We predict this here. Now, when we look at a residual, what we're looking at here is how much was the difference between our actual value and our predicted value. So our actual value is what we physically measured. We measured 70 centimeters. So what we can say here is 70 centimeters minus our predicted value, which is 66.905 centimeters. And we come up with an answer of 3.095 centimeters. Now, most common mistake, well, students will switch these two, are not sure which is which. A couple different ways. One, it goes alphabetical. It's the actual first minus the predicted. Another way to think of this, um, for those of you in AP statistics, it's AP. So it's actual minus predicted. But here's probably the most important thing to realize. What we're looking at here is a least squared regression line. So let's say we have some dots here. And I'm, I'm just making up the dots right there. And let's say we have our least squared regression line that looks not at all like that. Let's say we have a least squared regression line that would look more like that. What we're saying here is we had an actual value of 70. So I'm going to put a dot there, and that dot represents 70 centimeters. We had a predicted value of 66, correction, I was about to make a very big mistake. We had an actual value of 70, so that would be off the line because we predicted 66.905, and these both correlate to a femur length of 
59. So there's 70, and there's 66.905. And the way I was able to catch myself quickly, we ended up with a positive residual. And a positive residual would be that the actual value was greater than our predicted value. Or if you want to think of it another way, our least squared regression line underpredicted the actual value at a femur length of 59 centimeters. If we would have had a negative residual, we would have had a value, an actual value below the least squared regression line. For instance, this one right there would represent a negative residual. And the closer you are to the line, like this value there, that'll have a very, very small residual value close to zero, meaning that our least squared regression line very closely predicted the actual value. So I hope that helped. And like always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to give me a call. Thanks for watching.